This morning I woke up and I saw there was a news article that was saying a UK teen, after eating junk food for years and years and years, has ended up blind due to eating this away. So I wanted to talk about this study and this news in full detail and share my own opinion on this because this is really dangerous that some parents out there actually allowed their child to consistently eat so much junk food that they end up being blind and then how leading up to that point when doctors were actually working with this child they said that he was completely healthy and there was nothing to be concerned about at all but then in the end inevitably it ended up in him becoming blind. And as it says on this article, the boy who was described as a fussy eater lived on food like French fries, potato chips, white bread, ham, and sausages. And from looking at the whole article, it seemed that pretty much his whole diet was based on these foods for years and years and years, which is obviously a very unhealthy thing for a child to be doing, or even an adult for that matter of fact. And obviously, as a child, your parents are the ones that are meant to be more evolved than you and be as mindful and as aware as possible with what they are getting you to eat. But as we know, we live in a society where so many people do not learn anything on nutrition. They just eat so much processed, garbage, poisonous food that is not nourishing whatsoever like this child has and then it ends up in people such as this child going in the direction of being blind when the adults of this child which is their parents should be thinking to themselves hmm maybe it's not the healthiest thing to give them these processed foods and man just these idiotic parents of his obviously what has happened i have been with many a different women over the years that have had children and it is down to the parents whether they become a fussy eater or not and i used to be one of these i was pretty much brung up on fast food and microwave food and frozen food and what i found is from my own experience when i look back on it because i've been given those foods consistently that's all that i pretty much wanted and then if I was given any healthy vegetables or other healthy foods I was just like no because I wasn't used to them whatsoever and I just got used to these absolutely junk processed foods so that's obviously what this person has done as well and I've also seen it with animals such as dogs I used to own a dog and it would put up a fight and be like no I don't want to eat this really clean healthy food but what you have to do is just put foods in the house for them to eat that they can only eat and yes they may kick up a fuss and try to rebel and say I'm not going to eat that food but guess what is going to happen they will get to the point where they will eat the food that you've got because they will get super hungry and no it's not dangerous to do that with children or even animals whatsoever fasting has so much scientific research to prove that it's so healthy for people so these parents what they could have done is exactly that if they wanted to and the fasting would have actually helped his body to eliminate and process a lot of the garbage that he'd been consuming over a long period of time and then he probably would have not ended up with blindness just from doing that thing so yeah if your parent and your child doesn't want to eat specific foods and they want to eat absolute garbage then that's what I'd recommend doing and you just need to not let a child take full control where they rule the roost I used to do that and I wouldn't listen to my mum whatsoever and then it can end up with a child eating one of the most unhealthiest diets possible and they apparently become a fussy eater but a parent has created that fussy eating child whether they are aware of that or not and the younger that you can start them off with as much healthy whole foods as possible their gut microbiome is going to crave that because your gut microbiome craves the foods that you eat on a consistent basis and then their taste buds are also going to be altered in a way where they're going to keep wanting those healthy whole foods as much as possible. I'm not saying you don't have to give them any junk food whatsoever. You just don't want to be completely stupid and make it the basis of their diet. Because first off, it's got so many toxic substances in that will affect their health in a negative way. And then they're going to end up with massive nutritional deficiency. Which when doctors actually tested this child at 17 years old, when he ended up with peripheral neuro 
neuropathy. They found that he was low in B12 and other various nutrients. And they said, well, it must be due to the B12 deficiency, which, yeah, when you're eating loads of processed garbage foods, they lack so many different micronutrients, especially, man, when you're eating processed meats, they're not even like meat. It's just absolute toxic foods that you should not be putting in your body whatsoever, which is known by the FDA that they are carcinogenic, which are cancer-causing meats. So yeah, it may not just be to the B12, it also can be due to being low in B6 and vitamin E and isotol and various other nutrients as well. So yeah, with your children and with yourself, you wanna be eating the most healthiest foods that you possibly can as consistently as possible and the widest variety of foods as well because the wider variety of foods you're gonna get, the more micronutrients you're gonna get and then it's gonna help optimize your health and your longevity, your hormone production, your digestion, your mental health and so on. And yeah, it's such a shame that this happened to this child because a child should be able to rely on their parent to make the healthiest decisions for them. And yes, if sometimes your child won't want to do it, but when you know it's saying good for them, you need to kick them up the ass, not to be physically abusive to them or anything like that, or emotionally abusive, but you need to educate them as much as you possibly can on things that are gonna make them the healthiest that they possibly can be. And yeah, if you read the rest of this article, Doctors first looked at this child when he was 14 years old due to him having fatigue. This is why he went to the doctors. And he was of normal weight, they said, and height and had no visible signs of malnutrition, said a press release, which is just absolutely ridiculous. We know doctors do not care about making you as healthy as possible. They don't help people eliminate health issues whatsoever. They wanna keep you sick so you can rely on them and then it can maximize the profits of the pharmaceuticals that you will be prescribed by them consistently. We just live in a world where so many doctors are the real drug pushers of the world and I could guarantee if they'd done all the right tests and done other various things with the child at 14 years old, they could have caught this development of the optical neuropathy. And as we know it, with any different health issue or symptom that normally gets induced within you, especially a chronic one, it takes years and years and years to develop. And it's all about what I promote, which is preventative healing. So you're doing things consistently on a regular basis that stops you from getting health issues and symptoms in the first place. So yeah, these doctors were obviously useless when they checked him out at 14 years old, said that he was in pretty good health, even though he was suffering with fatigue, showed no signs of malnutrition, which he'd been eating this diet at that point as well, that made him end up becoming blind at 17 years old. Old. It just sucks. We live in a society where most people believe in doctors and they can't actually help them whatsoever and then they end up with some serious issue like this child did, which is just absolutely ridiculous. You need to find some people out there that give people real results and do not make them dependent upon them or medication for the rest of their life. And yeah, they said when they found out he had a B12 deficiency, they started giving him specific supplements and recommending certain dietary changes, but the child did not change it at all, which is not down to the child, really. It's down to the parents and they even not giving a fuck about that child whatsoever. And I'm sure that they're very unhealthy and sick as well. So it's like, well, if they're not looking after themselves, how can you expect them to look after a child? And in a way, it's like abuse to a child. You're feeding food to your child that is having such a negative effect on their whole existence and their health and their life as a whole. And I think we should have things in place in schools and that are taught to so-called parents and other people out there about nutrition as much as they possibly can so people can be so educated on it so then they don't run into certain health issues. But as we know, Big Pharma and the medical system does not want that to happen whatsoever because there is no profit in the cure and keeping people as healthy as possible. And they mentioned a bit more about his diet. He said his diet was essentially a portion of chips from the local fish and chip shop every day. He also used to snack on crisps such as Pringles and sometimes slices of white bread and occasionally slices of ham and not really any fruit and vegetables. So highly processed foods that have been stripped of their micro nutrients and then have had loads of toxic things added to them. So I feel really sorry for this child. Like, man, that is really, really bad that this is actually 
happened. You want your child to be developing as healthy as you possibly can and setting up them for the rest of their life to be the healthiest version of themselves. I would at least think most people would want that for their child. Do you want them to be as sick as possible or as healthy as possible? But yeah, it's like, pfft. when an adult makes their own choices to eat in a way that's destroying their whole health, that's absolutely fine. But when a parent that is meant to be looking after a child's doing it, it's just not acceptable whatsoever. But yeah, these people are just miseducated and phew, yeah, so only people doing this with their children than themselves. But yeah, we just live in a world where most people just eat due to taste rather than health. And it should be about eating to live rather than living to eat. And most people are literally killing themselves with what they're putting on their fork. And the doctor went on to say that the child had an aversion to certain texture of food that he could really not tolerate. Chips and crisps really were the only types of food that he wanted and felt that he could eat. But yes, if you just remove them from the house, and got him to a point where he's really, really hungry, that is soon going to change. But when you've been giving a child consistently a food that they're only used to, like I mentioned earlier on, that's gonna make them want that more and more and more. Just like anyone that is overweight. Do you keep all the unhealthy foods in that you love the most that's making you gain weight, or do you just get rid of them all and only put foods in your house that is gonna make you lose weight? It just, it's really not rocket science. It's really, really that simple. And yeah, they may throw up a battle for a while and as long as you're not giving them like the most disgusting horrible foods like fish eggs and various other things which a lot of people could just be freaked out or weirded out by then yeah there's no reason why they wouldn't start to eat certain other foods that are in the house that are healthy for them as long as like i said they're not these really really awful things that hardly anyone likes or you just would assume a child would not like at all, even when they get extremely hungry. And the doctor goes on to say to parents that they should be very careful around children with picky eating due to this issue that was induced within this child with their eyesight. And I couldn't agree more. And then the last thing the doctor said was, I just recommend that you introduce one or two new foods into the diet as consistently as you possibly can, which yeah, that's some really, really good advice and probably the only good advice that the doctor actually gave these parents to actually make them aware of certain things they need to be doing with their child to help them optimize their health and make sure any more health issues are not induced within their child. And yeah, I just wanna say, I'm not hating on the people that are the parents to this child or whatsoever. They're just miseducated. They've gone in the wrong direction. They're not being taught the right things. What? So ever, and this is just an epidemic across the globe. Most people know nothing on nutrition or health whatsoever, and to be honest, most people do not care because they are such addicts to the foods that these massive corporate companies have created specifically to make as addictive as possible. So you come back and buy more and more and more, and you never come off of it like you would with certain addictive drugs, so then you can help maximize their profits as much as you possibly can. So you just need to remember, most people that are creating these food companies and selling specific foods are selling you pure poison. And you really need to look outside of the box and start eating way less foods or almost no foods at all that come out of a packet. Try and get things that either grown out the ground or that are produced from an animal that's in their whole form. And it's really just that simple. Man, it's just food that we have not actually been eating for a very long time whatsoever. It just makes no sense whatsoever to eat so much processed foods. You just need to look back to how people used to eat in the past. They weren't going to Walmart or 7-Eleven or these other grocery stores and buying all of this garbage that is just pure poison. It's like, it's really not rocket science. You don't need to be the most aware, enlightened being to work out what foods are good for you and what foods aren't good for you. Most people know that junk food, processed food, fast food is not good for you whatsoever. Oh, one last thing I wanna mention is one of my girlfriends in the past that I was with for around two years, her son would eat mostly whole foods for such a long period of time. And then there would be times where we would give him certain unhealthy foods. And just from giving him one meal of certain unhealthy foods for about two to three days afterwards, it become 
all emotional and very agitated and hard just to be around. And it was hard for him just to exist in this reality because he's just all over the show. It wasn't nice for him or anyone around him whatsoever. But we were aware of this. And yes, he'd keep wanting those foods over and over again. But we'd just say, no, we'd only put foods in the house that would make him feel good and just have to grind through those three days and be around a child that's just got so much going on. And then he'd move through that process and then he'd be back on a healthy diet and he wouldn't want those foods whatsoever unless you put them around him again or went to a restaurant and offered them to him. So it's very, very simple. And you just need to think of it in a way that food, the majority of it has been created to be as addictive as possible, like a drug. So what do you do when you're trying to overcome an addiction with a substance? You just go cold turkey, abstain, from it for a while, have some self-discipline, have some self-love, and you will get through it. It's very, very simple. I've done that many different things. If I could do it, you can do it too. So that's it for this video. Any questions, leave them down below. If you like the video, like it down below. If you don't, give us a thumbs down. Please share this with others. And don't forget to click the subscribe button down below and click the bell notification button if you want to be notified of when new videos are uploaded. If you don't click the bell notification button, you will not be notified. So as always, stay fit, stay energetic, and go get those gains. Peace.